My name is Joel Robinson, and this is Star Wars Rebels Episode Analysis. On January 5th, Star Wars Rebels premiered again with a brand new episode called Path of the Jedi. This episode is a somewhat continuation of last week's episode, Gathering Forces. As we saw previously, Ezra made a dangerous connection with the dark side of the Force, and it is necessary for Kanan to take Ezra to the Jedi Temple on Lothal in order to be tested and find out whether he is ready to become a Jedi. Kanan describes the fall of the Jedi Order. Once there were over 10,000 Jedi, but now there are few. So this tells us there are still quite a few Jedi that avoided Order 66. Keep this in the back of your mind because it's very significant for later. So Ezra and Kanan make it to the Jedi Temple hidden within the mountain. And once inside, they are greeted by two Jedi Masters who died as a result of Padawans never returning from the mysterious Cave of Evil. Which, I must say, is the official title of this cave. This is the exact same type of cave we see in the Empire Strikes Back on Dagobah. If you look closely, you can see the exact same door structure leading into the cave. So from this, we know that the cave is not only an important part of Jedi training, but there are many caves hidden throughout the galaxy. In this episode, the cave quickly begins to test Ezra, feeding on his fear. He sees a vision of the Inquisitor killing Kanan. The confusing part about the cave is that when we saw it in The Empire Strikes Back, it was not only a test of Luke, but it was a premonition of the future. Luke was going to defeat Darth Vader, and he would discover that he was his father seeing this as his own face in the mask. This is an interesting development and one that could deeply affect not only Ezra's future, but the future of all the Rebels, which I will dive into in my theory crafting video available here. Next, after overcoming his fear of the Inquisitor, he hears the voice of Master Yoda. Yoda guides him and questions his intentions for becoming a Jedi. As he is being guided through the cave, Yoda begins speaking to Kanan as well. He is told that this is a dangerous time for Kanan, and Kanan admits he is afraid to train Ezra because of who he is. So who is Kanan, and why is he afraid of himself? Do you remember what I said earlier about Kanan describing the few Jedi that survived Order 66? Maybe Kanan did something that goes against his Jedi training in order to survive Order 66. But the details of that are for another video. Back to this episode. So Ezra must admit to Yoda his own desire for power. He soon learns his true desire is to become selfless. Next, Master Yoda gives him a kyber crystal so Ezra can build his very own lightsaber. The episode ends with him showing off his newly constructed lightsaber blaster combo to the crew of the Ghost. Overall, this is the best episode of Rebels I've ever seen, and I've seen them all. It further develops the characters as well as giving them another direction to go with the story. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, and if you like this content, please click the thumbs up down below. And may the force be with you, always.